Yeah, now it has been a great event too. Yesterday it looked like we were going to get a bit of rain, but the rain held off, didn't it? It did. It was a bit of a daunting week setting up. The weather forecast for this weekend was just absolutely horrendous. Friday we had drizzle, a bit of drizzle during the week, and then Friday night we got through it, and after we finished in the caravan, all we heard all Friday night was rain. Early hours of the morning, the sun was coming up and the winds started to hit. And it was just a pity but then we had to reorganise how to get spectators into the areas because we're using someone's grazing cattle property, so you just don't want to chew everything up. But we were able to achieve that. And then you look at today, it's just absolutely magnificent. But that's the joys of it, really. You can't do anything, but at least we're lucky enough to be able to run the event. And in fact, the rain on Friday night has probably helped the surface and made it even better for the competitors. Oh, well, it depends, you know, for possible spectators. It just dampened everything up. For the first, it was very slippery on SS4. Got a little bit dry, but not much. But this sort of country, even in the dry, it's been good. But the weather today, as all you people at four-wheel drive TV will see, there was no dust. It was beautiful. We were standing under shade. You could get undercover. So the venue was just absolutely spot on. A couple of guys managed to do some things that probably most cars don't normally do. One managed to get up a winch area. Yeah, you're not wrong. Paul and Nathan in the grey silver GQ from mid coast New South Wales, and Paul's been competing in these events for ages, and they did real well. And I'm standing back on the other side, and uh, I don't know. Talk about there's something a little bit bigger than anyone else has got, because no way in the world would I have attempted to do what they did. I think you guys have got it on video because it wasn't as if it was back off and stop. It was back off for a while and planted again and just launched over a bigger rock. That was quite spectacular. Now, I was standing next to Christian who had done quite a good time on that stage and he was looking at it and all of a sudden his head went down as the car went up that hill. The thing is, the times have been kept pretty secret on that one. Uh, one of the officials was hiding it away. But Christian, even though he had to winch that, was faster. OK, well, there you go. <laughs> Exclusive here for Four Wheel Drive TV. Christian Terry, we're here at the Bendemi Winch Challenge and it's been a bit different today to previous years. Yeah, it's been fairly wet, slippery. We haven't competed together for a while. You haven't competed together for a couple of years? Have you been doing much work on the car in between or is it pretty much as it was a couple of years ago? I've changed a bit of the suspension. I've put a new motor in it. It goes a little bit harder now. That's about it. It's pretty much the same truck as it's always been. And is it fun getting back in the truck? I always enjoy driving the truck, picking gears and going sideways and driving big hills and, you know, it's fun. OK, so we're here with Emily now. Emily, this is your first year in competition. How's this event been for you? It's been a good year so far, finished all round, so I've been happy with that. Uh, here at this park, are you enjoying this circuit? Yeah, no, it's been good, a different range of things, some speed ones and some rock ones and winch hills, so yeah, it's been really good. Got your dad co-driving for you today, how's he been? Yeah, no, he hasn't been too bad, he hasn't got up me too much, so yeah, it's been good. And now this is your first event ever co-driving, how are you finding it? Hard work. Yeah, there's a lot of running up hills, there's certainly one thing about this type of event, you get up a lot of hills. Yeah, lucky I'm a fit old bugger. And is it something that you're likely to continue doing or is it just a once-off for you? Probably a once-off at this stage because I'm too busy normally to, to be at the Navi for a full time. He's also got one of the girlfriends hoping a Navi for us so she'll have an all-girl team next year. <laughs> <laughs>